Notion, Google Calendar, Forest. I'm sure we've all heard of them circulating around the productivity sphere for quite some time now. And while there's definitely nothing wrong with these apps, it's still great to explore our options out there. So let's set those apps aside for now and go over some hidden gems, some lesser known productivity apps that can streamline your workflow and help you make the most out of your day just as well as them. So whether you love crossing off tasks, keeping your calendar in check, or staying organized, I might just have something for you. So grab a snack, get comfy, and let's go over this list. First up is a task management app called Timo. When I read about how Timo started, the app has immediately won me over completely. I cannot believe it took me this long to find out about this app, but Timo stands out from all other apps out there because it was designed for neurodivergent individuals. It aims to create an app for individuals with autism, ADHD, dyslexia, and anyone who may experience the world differently. Timo allows you to time block your day, which if you've been here for a while now, you know I'm a huge advocate of. You get a visual representation of your day, which allows you to conquer your tasks block by block and also preventing you from over scheduling your day because for each task, you actually have to set a duration to accomplish that task and an exact time at which you plan on doing that specific task. With that alone, you eliminate multitasking, procrastinating, feeling overwhelmed, and falling off track. Another great thing about Timo, which I am enamored with, is it helps you plan out your tasks with the help of AI. Time and time again, I have been a proponent of breaking down your tasks or your projects into smaller chunks, aka piecemealing, and Timo does just that. If, for example, I have to write a review paper, all I have to do is click on Add with AI, and it creates a curated checklist of smaller goals to accomplish your task. If you find a task overwhelming to tackle, you can simply go over this checklist, do one thing at a time, and next thing you know, that task is done and dusted. You also get a live activity widget on your lock screen, which is just the cherry on top because let's say you're in deep focus but you want to check how much time is left to finish your task. In other focus or timer apps, you still have to unlock your phone and check the app and this opens a window of opportunity for distractions. But with this live activity widget of Timo, you can see exactly how much time is left. You can add a minute if you still need more time or pause, all of which you can control within just your lock screen. Now, if you've ever opened Notion, tried it for a few days, and deleted it after a couple of trials and errors, chances are that's because you find Notion too overwhelming. You might have felt as though you needed a manual just to get started. And although I've sworn by Notion over and over again, I would definitely agree that it's packed with so many features that it's easy to get lost in the sea of options. I have been told by so many of my friends and blockmates the same thing. So if you're looking for something much more straightforward that lets you organize your personal, academic, and work life without all the bells and whistles, then I definitely recommend Xstyles, which I'm so happy to be collaborating with in this video. Xstyles is a multifunctional workspace that lets you create customizable tiles for your ideas, notes, tasks, and projects. It offers such an intuitive, beginner-friendly interface with features that can help you stay organized and on top of your tasks without overwhelming you. Of course. With X-Tiles, you can create a tile for your brain dump, a tile for your to-do lists, and you can even create a tile for each of your courses. Totally customizable, totally up to you. If you don't feel like creating your own, you can grab one of their pre-made templates and just customize that to your liking. X-Tiles also has a designated space for your inbox where you can quickly capture and store your thoughts and ideas as they come to mind. And this is great because I can easily see which idea I haven't processed yet and which task I still need to sort out. In terms of tasks, Xtiles already has its own calendar where you can plot all your deadlines, but just in case you've already been using Google Calendar, fret not because it offers a Google Calendar integration so you can see all your events and deadlines in one place. All of Xtiles features are easily accessible with just a simple point and click in case you want to use their default tile templates, a click and drag if you want to customize your own, and a forward slash to access all the tools to create the content 
content of your tiles. So whether you're planning your week or brainstorming a project or just organizing your life, Exiles offers a straightforward yet flexible approach to have all your essentials in one place. So be sure to check the link in the description below and give Exiles a try. Now, if you're one who struggles with building routines and being consistent in them, this next app might be for you. Routinery is the simplest app to establish and maintain routines. When I was building my morning routine a few years back, I struggled so much because I tend to over plan. I usually end up planning for it unrealistically. I tend to list out so many activities, making my bed, doing skincare, organizing my desk. What else was there? going for a walk, taking a shower, making a to-do list for the day, that I forget to take into account exactly how much time each of these habits actually take. So after a few days of doing my morning routine, I usually end up dumping that routine because I just dread doing it in the first place. Routinery helps you create your ideal routine by A, giving you a step-by-step -step guide of all the habits you need to do, and B, by actually timing each of these habits as you go through them. What's great about Routinery is it builds on habit stacking, which has been proven to be an effective way to build new habits. In habit stacking, you link new habits to existing ones by consistently doing your new habit right after the old one. By doing so, you actually create a connection in your brain, which over time helps you stick to your new habit because it already becomes part of your routine. With your routinery, you get to do all your habits one after the other. It also gives you timely notifications, which gives you a nudge to do your routine. So no more skipping habits, no more forgetting them. You can start building your routine until they feel more natural over time and become part of your daily schedule. The next app on this list is Imprint, which essentially provides condensed bite-sized summaries from books, articles, and courses on an array of topics. If you're looking for an alternative to mindlessly scrolling on TikTok during your commute to school or during your study breaks or even just during your downtimes throughout the day, don't worry, I'm also guilty of that. But Imprint is, I think, the best tool to make your breaks a little bit more fulfilling and rewarding. It presents key insights from books and courses in a concise, interactive, and visual way, which as a visual learner myself, I I am in love with and these insights are so concise that even complex courses have been broken down into five minute reads that you can digest whenever and wherever. What's great about Imprint is it integrates active learning by making these reads interactive. So instead of just passively reading these books and courses within the app, which you may forget after your commute, after your study break, or after a few days, Imprint actually tests you throughout your read so you can retain the key concepts in your long-term memory. You can also access a quiz within the app which tests you on an array of topics related to their courses. So overall, this is a great app for anyone seeking to expand their knowledge. I saw a TikTok several weeks ago reposted by my friends. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, here. It says, the most annoying part of academic writing is knowing the thing but looking for some other paper to say it for you. You can't just say bread is soft. You have to say it according to Baker 2010 that bread is soft. Funny, I think, but I think one of the challenging and frustrating parts of writing an academic paper is citations. When you're a student, citations form the foundation of your paper. They provide credibility to your paper. And the thing is, you can't just read one journal article to support your paper. You also have to look for other journals that either support or contradict the journal that you have. Yes, that may sound feasible, but the thing is, finding credible journal articles that are relevant to your work is like searching for a needle in a haystack. It is that difficult. Well, mm, at least for me. Connected Papers eases that difficulty by providing you with a visual map of, by its name, Connected Papers. So let's say you have a journal that you want to use as your primary reference for your paper. I'm just going to use an image paper that we had in the past but you can definitely use any other journal article that you have it then presents you with a map of journal articles connected to your paper the more clustered the papers are the more they are connected if you don't have a chosen journal article yet you can also search for a topic that you have in mind and it presents you with a list of articles and same thing as before presents you with a graph of connected papers for each article that they have such a helpful tool for students out there definitely 
be something that you should try the next time you're writing your paper. So those are all of the apps that I have for you this week. Thank you so, so much for sticking around. It's been a crazy, rainy few weeks. So I hope you're all warm and safe. I think it's great that we have so many options right now for apps and I'm so happy to be sharing them with you as I discover them also. Because sometimes some apps may be working for me but aren't working as well for you. So I think it's great that I can share some of these apps that maybe you can try and maybe can work well for you. Again, thank you so, so much for sticking around and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!